Oh, as I've always said, I prefer your lips red. Not what the good Lord made, but what he intended. Da -da 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 -da. I awoke in a fever. The bedclothes were all soaked in sweat. She said you've been having a nightmare. And it's not over yet. And she picked up the doggy and the window. The one with the waggly tail. And she put him to bed. Between two bits of bread. Two bits of bread. I really thought. I really, really thought. I said, you know, Nisei Koi. I'll watch another episode. Right? That's what I said. I said, I'll watch another episode, huh? You know, it's been about, oh, I wouldn't say a week, but it's been a few days since I have watched episode 5, and I hated it. And I thought to myself, well, well. Season 5 is a little bit of a, a joke, a meme. Didn't like it. But at least, you know, we'll see where we go from here. That's what I'm saying, right? The wheels have already been spinning in the mud, so, you know, they had to take it somewhere. Um, and... I don't, I don't know. I don't know what was happening here. What went so terribly wrong? So it begins with our protagonist. Uh, this was, by the way, the worst episode so far. This is the worst episode so far, just for, with, you know, misunderstandings. All right. Our protagonist, uh, essentially... Okay, now, it begins with the main girl, Ch Chitoge. And she says, oh gosh... I want to I want to thank him properly, right? I want to thank him properly for her saving me, cause you know she drowned in a pool. Well, she almost drowned in a pool in the previous episode, and he saved her with you know mouth to mouth resuscitation, as as you would, right? You know, for heaven forbid there are any lifeguards at this you know girls swimming competition. No, we had lifeguard. We had lifeguard on deck. Uh, uh Raku. I don't remember his name. So he came in, he saved her, he was such a hero, a dashing hero, but of course, she doesn't know about the whole, uh, you know, mouth-to-mouth -mouth thing since he was half dead, or something like that. So, you know, so she comes to thank him, and he's, and he thinks she's thanking him for the mouth-to-mouth. The -mouth. He says, whoa, this girl's a little forward, don't you think? He's getting confused. He's like, you know, the... He was getting mixed signals in a way. He's he's like this doesn't make sense. This doesn't score up with what I know with her already. Uh, then he starts, but then eventually he re it's pretty like the. I mean it's it's fine. It's like you know jokey. It's joke where like you know she keeps trying to thank him, but ends up just making things worse. Not the first time he's seen it, but nothing wrong with that. I think that's fine. It was funny. You know they she had to take several takes, and she just it got worse and worse, till she found out that he you know kissed her, and then that was it. Boom, Jim again. You know, stellar, stellar stuff. Just phenomenal. <sighs> um, and then, so she just like has like a, a very angry, an outburst. She's like, gosh, I hate that guy. He should die. Uh, he's the worst, yada, yada. And then Ruri, Miyamoto Rui. I remember her name, probably because I just watched the episode again. I wouldn't remember Miyamoto, but Miyamoto Rui says, hey, are you sure you guys are really in love? Oh. Then she says, uh... And then she goes to the classroom and she, she spills the beans. She says, hey, actually, it's all, it's all, it's a fake love. That's the title drop, by the way. I don't know, well, I don't think there was an actual title drop. I didn't actually listen to the Japanese. You know? Well, I do, well, not that. I didn't hear it. I didn't hear Nisei Koi. But, regardless. She explains to them that it was all some stupid plot and that they actually really dislike each other uh, and then Ruri says aha you know oh this is your chance my my dearest friend my good friend uh, and then and then you know of course he comes back to the classroom <laughs> isn't that interesting so they're all in the classroom then uh, uh, Chitoge leaves and then our protagonist walks in how many times has our protagonist walked into the classroom to see plot important characters so he can be like, whoa, what are you guys doing here? Or how are you guys today? How many times has he walked into the classroom? I don't know. It just seems like something that happens every episode. 
well, he walks to a classroom all the time, but whatever. For important things. So he walks in, and this girl, so she's, she, says, she says, you know, I'm gonna, she, has the, she gets the resolve. She says, uh, owner dare, she says, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to confess my love to him, since I, I now know the circumstances. Um, don't you think, don't you think it would have been a little better on her part to clear away the misunderstanding off the bat, saying, by the way, Chitoge told me everything? I would look like, hey, Chitoge actually told me the truth here? So, but instead, like, hey, even though, I mean, from his perspective, it'd be, hey, if she went through with it, she doesn't, by the way, if she would have said, hey, I know you have a girlfriend and stuff, and I'm supposed to be friends with her, which is another thing, right? Not the first time, but, you know, all right, all the female characters in the show that are plot important, they're friends. You know, what interactions have they had? I, I mean, I guess, like, she invited him to help swim or something. It, it's, but, like, all, all the female characters are now friends. You know, and this does not impact the relationships in the future, I'm sure. I'm sure it's like, it's like, oh, I'm sure there's going to be a line somewhere in the future where it's where they both accept that the other one has feelings for protagonist and they say, we'll make this a fair competition. Something like that. It happens. It always happens, these stupid things. Oh, boy. She, um... So she goes to confess with him to him. Uh, I don't even remember what I was going to... Whatever. I, I forgot where I left off. Doesn't matter. She's coming to confess to him. Oh, I remember the point. Don't, don't, who cares? She goes to confess to him. And before she's getting the words, Sue, 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 a baseball flies through the window. And, as it happens. As it happens. The baseball flies, the baseball flies through the window. Why? Why does, why does it do it? Why does this have to happen? Why does this have to happen? Other than, Okay, our protagonists, we're in a little bit of pickle here. This girl knows about the false love. This girl knows about it. She knows about that. And then she says she, she gets the confidence to go through with her own confession of love. Okay. But there's not enough time to quickly int we, we, we haven't yet introduced a wrench into the relationship. We need to do something about that. I figured it out. A baseball flies through the window. You know, a baseball flies through the window. You know, I'm sure and by the way, right, to give, you know, to be fair, I, if I were one of the characters in the situation, I would be shocked too. Maybe that would demoralize you. Maybe that would take the wind out of your sails. But of course, he says soon after, before he leaves the room to go get a teacher or whatever, hey, what were you about to tell me right now? Like, what is it you wanted to say? It sounded important. You seemed really invested in it. You know? Uh, oh, and then of course, huh, it wasn't important. Never mind. But, and then he's like, oh, okay, huh, whatever. And then, as he's leaving, whoa, that almost sounded like a love confession. But there's no way Onadera would like someone like me. That, there you go. That was that was it. That's when I realized that I was going to die watching the show. I can't make it any further than this. I will make it further, but... Oh my god. Why? Same thing. What gate? Why did he draw that conclusion? Where did he get this information from? Who told him this? <laughs> told him he do he saw he saw he's like oh this is a love confession actually he's like oh she was blushing and i kind of was able to tell what she was going to say and the atmosphere is right but whatever who can nobody does the worst the worst why why does this have to happen this is just miserable this is miserable just watching these idiots just stumble their way through a show god i don't even have the energy anymore to I hate these characters. You know, Ruri. Ruri was kind of annoyed that Onadera failed. But she's like, eh, get him next time, I'm sure. Uh, okay. What else is there to say? I mean, just a quick recap, and then... Oh, and then, okay, there's another line. She says, but you know, to be honest, deep down, I'm glad my confession failed. 
And her reasoning is because she wants to keep the nice relationship they have just a little bit longer. Um... <laughs> I mean, first off, that relationship consists of them, you know, act like what, acting like what spurks to each other. That's what it is, right? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> but what is their relationship? Are they friends? Is that like, I mean, the like we we established her in the in the opening, like the exposition episode, the, where like she she helps, like she gives him like a, she patches him up after he gets corkscrew kicked by the main girl or whatever. <laughs> I don't know if it was a corkscrew, but whatever. <laughs> he gets attacked, and she helps him. And it's like, okay, well, yeah, she's a kind, caring individual. But, like, did, is there any real, like, what, they talk to each other sometimes because they're in the same class? I don't really understand the nature of this relationship, so what did she want to preserve? Ambiguities and misunderstandings? Why? Why? What was the point of that? What was the point of that? Um, there's one other plot element, by the way. It's like a little... It, it was the... Okay, it's what it's what I was... <laughs> it's what uh, was always going to happen. It's what I knew was going to happen, because I, I already know how the series ends. I already know spoilers and stuff. Um, and this wouldn't have made sense without spoilers. But the, the main girl... So, okay, the protagonist, he's, he's observing his... his his, uh, you know, pendant locket thing. He says, man, this thing sure has taken a beating over the years after, you know, since that girl has completely, you know, punched me, knocked me flat on the floor. Ha ha. I did the ha ha thing again. <laughs> you know, this, I should probably replace the chain on this one or something like that. And he's like, you know, swinging around his fingers. Like, and then, I mean, I guess it's meant to be a gag, but like there's these sort of delivery men carrying a crocodile in a box. Uh, and they bump into him, and then his thing fall, his planet falls on the floor. Now, okay, it falls on the floor. But, why did he not know? Why didn't he realize? Why didn't he realize? Maybe he wasn't swinging. No, he did. I don't know if he was swinging or he was holding it or something. I don't really want to go back and look. But it, it fell out of his hand. Like Even if he didn't feel it falling out of his hand, or around snapping off his neck, the weight off of it, which would have been, you know, noticeable, I'm sure. Even if that he didn't feel that, it hit the floor, right? It's it's a large, it, it's a, actually a pretty large metal locket. It would have clunked on the floor. He would have heard it, like, oh, hit the floor. Why? What happened? Could he just not figure it out? What did, what did he do? I don't know. And then he left. He's like, oh, whatever. But what, uh, keeps going on his way. And then later, the Chitoke comes by, sees on the floor, and says, whoa, isn't this his locket? Whatever. She has it repaired and returned to him. Which, I, oh, which, by the way, surprised me. That really surprised me. I thought this was going to be a plot point for five episodes. I thought they were going to drag this one out. You know, where's my locket? You know, and she, I, I, what I thought, because that happened actually before, Onadera's attempt at the confession, so I thought what actually was going to happen was that she was going to, to ask him about, like, the key, and whatever was going to remind him of his locket, but, and then she's like, oh, so about that, the girl, and what, and the key in your locket, yeah, and he's going to go reach for it, huh, it's not there, it's not there, and then he's going like, to run away and, and panic, searching for it, I thought that's what actually was going to happen, it didn't, okay, fair enough, <sighs> but, it ends. It ends in a car ride. You know, it's a, it's a nice starry night. It's very, it's cool, looking cool. Everything's looking fine. And then she says, hmm, you know, now that I remember it all of a sudden, didn't I make a promise with the boy ten years ago about meeting, once we meet each other again, we'll fall in love because I have the key to his locket? Hmm, that's strange. Couldn't have been him, you know. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Whatever. This is it. Honestly, whatever. Okay, uh, more characters coming in next episode. And they've like had some like the, the assassin girl's been hired to to kill our protagonist. I hope she succeeds. And then me next. <laughs>